That intergovernmental panel on climate change was like a flashing red light, right, on the need for, for urgency. There is a movement to transition from fossil fuel to renewable energy. We've got to slow and stop the continued warming of the planet. People are demanding climate action, but we need federal investment to take it to the next level. Coal, oil, and gas was that first level. We're ready for that second boom. I want to first just really thank the Secretary for coming to New Mexico. But I thought it would be good to root the entire two days in a conversation with all of you. These are the folks who've been thinking about this for years. We need investments in infrastructure, grid, broadband, and human infrastructure. We know that the state has been relying on our labor, and we want more. We want to see diversification in our communities. We can set them up for the country in terms of how we need to be doing this. Welcome to our community. Thank you. That efficiency with electrification will really help to balance. So he'll see a decrease in his bill and an improvement in the technology. Ruben, thank you for opening your home to be able to see what's possible. It's important for me to be able to tell your story back in Washington, D.C., where policy is made. We're just so eager to deploy, deploy, deploy technology that's already ready to go. We need to make sure that New Mexicans are getting good union paid jobs. We have big plans because of the Biden administration. We're going to grow double, triple along with the industry. I think there is huge opportunity in the midst of transition. This is one of the biggest changes in how we do things in literally hundreds of years. We are acting at the Department of Energy like our hair is on fire. The president also feels that sense of urgency and wants to make sure that the investments that we make, 40% of which are directed to environmental justice communities, frontline communities. Welcome, Secretary Granholm, to my homeland. I'm just really honored to meet with all the leaders of the Navajo Nation and to come together to talk about the quality of life that I feel like um, our people are, are wanting. I think there's a grand opportunity about transitioning uh, these types of coal-fired power plants into something toward renewable energy generation. You've got a community that's in transition, you know, that really wants to be part of the future of energy. Thank you for the privilege of being able to be here and share with you and have you share with me.